actually really like this rounding and estimating section. I think this is really helpful for your mental math game. So you can do a quick check in your brain and see if your answers make sense when you're done. So use the number 27.3865. Write the value of the given digit. So the two right here is in the tens place. The three, that first decimal column after the decimal is called the tenths. Eight is in the second spot, so that is the hundreds. Hundreds. And the six is in the thousands place. Thousands. Sweet. So a lot of times with math problems, they'll be like, uh, round to the nearest hundredth or thousand or just scooching this over. Here we go. Round 4.2683 to the nearest tenth. So you have to look which one is the tenth. It's the spot right after the decimal place. So we're looking at 4.2. Now you're either going to keep it 4.2 or you're going to bump it to 4.3. So you look at the decimal, or the place right behind it, five or higher, you bump it up. So right behind it is a six, so we're going to bump that up to 4.3. Round 4.2683 to the nearest one. Well, the one column is right there with the four. So if you look after the four, it's a two. So we don't bump it up, we'll just keep it four. And a lot of times they won't say round to the nearest one, they'll say like round to the nearest whole number. But it's okay, they tell you the whole number. So we're gonna do three more here, and then I got some for you to try. Oh no, I just want you to try. Oh no, we'll do these. I, I got more on the bottom for you to do. Identify the underlying place, then round each number to that place. 38.4, the four is in tens. And that would round Look, it's a one after it, so you don't bump it up. It's still 38.4. 0 0.7772, that is the ones place. And are you going to keep it zero or are you going to bump it up? Well, look after it. It's a five or above, so you bump it up. So that would round to one. This is in the tenths place. And behind it is a six, so we bump it up. 7,098.6. There it goes tens, hundreds, thousands. And we're gonna keep it as a three because behind it is a four. 274.943. 5.025, that's the tenths column. And we're going to keep it at 5.0 because there's a 2 behind it. Now, you would think 5.0 is just 5, but it tells us to round to the nearest 10, so we're going to actually write it to the 10th. We're going to keep it 5.0 instead of just 5. 9.851, this is the hundreds place. And behind the five is a one, so we're just gonna keep it. 9.85. So now I have eight problems that I would like you to try. I will go over them, but go ahead and pause and actually try them. Let me make this smaller so you can see it should also be in your blank notes. So pause it, try them out. I'm gonna go over them right now. Hundreds. And 27.89. This is the thousands. Zero point nine one two. 
This is the ones. And the 1046. Just says brown to the underlying piece. This would be 345.7. Okay, and then to find whether each answer is reasonable. So they did 135.95 plus 1590 plus 2405. They came up with $275.90. So let's use some estimation and see if we can see if that answer is reasonable. So 135, let's just make it like 140. That's pretty close, right? Uh, 1590, we'll just cut it down to 15. Right? Even though, yeah, 1590 is really close to 16, I'm trying to work with like zeros and fives because that's easier for my brain. $24, we'll say, is $25. So if we did 0, 5, and 5, 10, 1 plus 4 is 5, 6, 7, 8. So I came up with about 180. So this is not reasonable. That's off by $100. Now I'm guessing something they did in their calculation, they probably just like brought an extra one over there and did one plus one to get two, which is a mistake. It should be around 180. Here they did 460, 490. Let's call that uh, 460. Minus 125, 73. Let's call that 130. Because these will be easy to work with. We're trying to find numbers that are easy to work with in our brain. 60 minus 30 is 30. 4 minus 1 is 3, so we come up with 330. They came up with 339, so yeah, that's reasonable. It's pretty close. We're trying to do as much as we can in our brain to quick check our answers. Because sometimes, you know, you just put stuff wrong in a calculator to make mistakes. It happens. Estimate by rounding 355.302 plus 204.899. Let's call this 360. Now, I bumped that up a little bit. So I could bump this 200 far down to 200. And that would be two easy numbers to work with. 360 plus 200 would be about 560. That's a pretty good estimate. 453, let's call it 450. Minus 230.07, let's call it 230. I know 50 minus 30. 20, 4 minus 2 would be 2, so I think 220 is a pretty good estimate for that. So I have 6 for you here. I'd like you to pause, try them, see what you can do, and let's see if we come up with answers that are close. And if you estimate different, and it comes out similar, that's all good. So like if I was doing nine, I would call that $40 minus $30, which would be about $10. But maybe you used 38 and 28 and you came up with 10. Or maybe you came up with 12 or 11. If it's close, we're looking for an estimation here. So here I'm gonna call this 158, I'm gonna call it two. 17.02, I'll just call it 17. 2 plus 17 would give me 19. 172.98, let's call it 170. 128, let's call it 130. The hundreds will cancel, 100 minus 100. So we're just left with 70 minus 30, which is 40. 489, let's call it 5 bucks. 387, let's call it 4 bucks. Five plus four would give us 
nine dollars. It's going to be a little less than that, but this gets us an estimate. Sixteen eighty one. Uh, and eleven forty nine. It's called seventeen dollars and eleven dollars. Maybe you call eleven forty nine twelve dollars. It's all good. But I bumped up sixteen eighty one, so I can bump down this eleven forty nine. Seventeen plus eleven will be twenty eight. And this is good for like when you're shopping and you're like making sure you have enough money for stuff. You're like okay, this is about twenty bucks. This is about ten dollars. Have forty-five dollars. So how much do I have to play with stuff? And you got to include tax. Five hundred sixty-five minus two twenty-five. Sure. All right. Uh, let's call it five hundred. Let's call it five seventy. That'll be easier. So we'll bump that up five dollars to five seventy. We'll bump this down, or we'll bump this up five dollars to two hundred and thirty. So the five hundred minus two hundred. 300, 70 minus 30 is 40. So around 340. Front end estimation is actually nice. So you look and you first add the front end digits, the front end estimation, add the stuff in front of the decimal spot, and then you estimate all the decimals, get them close, and you'll come up with a really nice uh, estimate here. So carrots cost 271, peppers cost dollar seventy three and broccoli costs a dollar ten estimate the total cost of the vegetables so if we do the front end stuff one plus one plus two would be four dollars and then if we're doing estimates 73 cents let's call it like 80 cents uh, 71 cents we'll call that 70 cents and then 10 cents sure it's about 10 cents. So if we add these up, 70 cents plus 10 cents would be 80 cents, plus another 80 cents would be $1.60. So we're going to add that back to our $4, and that'll give us an estimate of $5.60. Will it be exactly that? No. But is that pretty darn close? Let's see. Four. So that's like 554. So that's a pretty close estimate. So let's try out a few more together. We'll do these two, and then I want you to actually try this. So add the front digits. So here, 6 plus 2 is 8, plus 9 is 17. 0.75 is pretty close to 0.8. Uh, 2.2, .2, sure, 0.2. 0.58, let's call it 0.6. So here we have 0.8 plus 0.2 would be 1, plus 0.6 would be 1.6. So 17 plus 1.6 would be 18.60. And if it was money, I wouldn't want you to leave it 18.6. I'd want you to say $18.60. But this didn't have a dollar sign. The second one does here. So we'll leave ours. We'll go to the hundreds here. So 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 7 is 10, $10. Let's see, 7 cents, let's call it 10 cents. 49, let's call it 50 cents. And then we have 40 cents. So 10 plus 50 cents would be 60 cents, plus 40 cents would be another dollar. So we have $10 plus dollar will estimate to eleven dollars. So I have, let's see, how many do we have here? We'll do the word problem together, but I'd like you to try these four at least. Let's see, let's scoot you down. Try these four and then we will do the word problem together. So pause here, try, here we go. Six plus three is nine plus four is thirteen. Uh, we're gonna add four cents and We'll just call that zero cents. 45 cents we'll call 50 cents. 43 cents we'll call 40 cents. 50 cents from 40 cents would be 90 cents. If you add that to the 13, it would be $13.90. And if you are similar to 1390, you're in great shape.
So maybe you estimated four cents to five cents or ten cents. That's all good. Five ninety two four oh seven. So five plus four is the nine dollars. Ninety two cents. Call it ninety cents. Seven cents we'll call ten cents. Ninety cents plus ten cents is another dollar. We have nine plus one, ten dollars. 989, 243, 837. 9 plus 2 is 11, plus 8 is 1. Oh, sorry, 19. Let's see, 0.89 we'll call 0 0.90. 0 0.43 we'll call 0 0.4. And 0 0.37 we'll call that 0 0.42. 90 cents plus 40 cents would be $1.30. Plus 40 cents more would be $1.70. And I know this isn't given in dollars, but this will make an easy estimate. So 19 plus 1 would be 20.7. That's going to be my estimate. Okay, let's see. see, 14 plus 79. Whoa! Uh, if we had 10 to it, it would be 89 plus 4 is 93. It's a little dicey. I could have used estimation on the fronts too there. But 0.39, let's call it 0 0.4. 0 0.12, let's call it 0 0.1, which would give us 0.5, so 93.5. All right, the word. Everybody's favorite. Kim ran 2.76 miles on Monday, 2.34 mi miles on Tuesday, and 1.97 miles on Wednesday. Use front end estimation to estimate the total distance Kim ran. So if we did the front digits, two plus two is four, uh, plus one is five, so five miles, and then we'll get the back stuff. 0.76, let's call it 0.7, 2.34, let's call it 0.3, and then 1.97, we'll call that one, right? 0.97 is pretty similar to like a whole dollar, right, 97 cents. So if we add these up, 7 plus 3 is 10, here the 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. This comes out to about 2 more miles. So she ran about 7 miles. Way to go, Kim. That's how Kim does it right there. And then this is great. Oh my goodness. You can use clustering to estimate the sum of several numbers that are all close to the same value. This is Awesome. I love front end estimation and I love clustering. Estimate the total long distance charge for the months of May, June, July, and August shown at the right. There are four months here. We could totally add 1535 plus 1605 plus 1490 plus 1505. Totally. But those all hover really close to around $15. So instead of estimating each one, or rounding each one, and then getting an estimate together, what you can do is just four times, and again, they're all hovering around $15, and four times 15 will be $60. So this works great when all your values are very close to each other. So we got two, and then you've got four to try. So look here, 450, 520, 555. They're all pretty close to five dollars, and there's three values here. So we can just do five dollars times three to get an estimate of fifteen dollars. Over here, all these numbers are pretty close to twenty-five. So there's one, two, three, four, five, one. Five times twenty-five. Think of quarters. If you have five quarters in your hand, how much money is that? Dollar twenty-five. So one twenty-five. So I want you to try these four, and I'm going to go over them. So go ahead and pause it and try them, and then I will go over. Them. All right. These are close to. 42, or you can even say 40. So if we just said 40 times 3, if we're trying to do quick mental math, it would be 120. Now we bumped all those down to 40, 
So it'll probably realistically be a little bit above 120. 950, 845, 908, they're all around 9. There's three of them. 9 times 3 is 27. Twenty one, twenty two, twenty two. Sure, they're all close to twenty two. So three times twenty two dollars would be sixty six dollars. Hey, and this one, oh, they're all pretty close to fifteen. There's one, two, three, four, five of them. Fifteen times five give us seventy five. That might be it. Oh no, we got some mix and matches. Use a method of choice. Actually, we're going to practice all these in class together. 